I'm not gonna lie, this is the uh, second take of the video. I made like a 10 minute one, but... <laughs> okay, so get this. I'm still a little bit insecure about myself, even though I shouldn't be. I'm a little too old for that. <laughs> but sometimes when I feel like I don't make sense, I just know. So when I, um, when I was trying to wrap up that video, I was like, damn, I just don't feel right with this one. So I, I um, ended it and then uh, I deleted it. So, yeah, I didn't want to pretend like that didn't happen. But I just wanted to get some stuff out there that I really wanted to get out, you know? Not, not some stuff that really doesn't matter. But the things I was talking about. Oh yeah, first things first. The update with the uh, flight attendant interview. You know, I actually got the answer last Monday in an email, but um, I'll get to that in a second. I did not get the job. Yep, I, uh, they flew me out to California. I made it to the interview, which I thought was gonna be late and I didn't get it. They uh, brought the news to me through email. They're saying like, hey, um, pretty much they uh, gave it to somebody else and uh, I'm not gonna be moving forward with the uh, process, which I already accepted, you know. Um, well, halfway accepted. Well, after the interview, I met this, another flight attendant hopeful, I met a friend and we hung out the whole day. You know, if I didn't meet her, I never went to, went to those cool places that we got to. We went to the Golden Gate Bridge. We went to the Painted Ladies. We went to Twin Peaks. Which is a real thing, by the way. It's not just some wing joint in Dallas. It's an actual place called wing, um, Twin Peaks in California. It's like this high point in the state where you can see like the whole city. That was so cool, man. And it just made me so much more hungrier. Shut my bottle again. So much more hungrier to become a flight attendant. Just travel the world. You know, that's all I'm going to do, man. I just, I just need to get hired already. <laughs> but I got to wait. Another six months for that company, even though I've waited a whole year. Um, yeah, this whole process of becoming a flight attendant is like a year in the making. And it's about to be more. <laughs> it's about to be more. But um, I, I also need to come clean about something on this video. And I promise not to make it too long. Um, because, um, oh yeah, I made like two from before, for like a few days ago. But I ran out of memory. Yeah, so my iCloud was full apparently. So in the middle of recording... It was like close to 10 minutes or something like that and it uh, stopped and something so simple as just deleting some stuff on your phone and keep recording yeah that, that that's an option but if you're like me if you can relate to me simple stuff like that it's just so exhausting to the brain like it's just like you just don't want to do it you know you ever get that it's like you get home and you know you have stuff to do and you just don't fucking do it yeah i do that every day i'm sick of it i'm so tired of it tired of being unproductive and I know I need to do stuff but it's just like I don't care but sometimes some days I do care some days I really don't care so like, I don't know I'm still figuring myself out still trying to better myself but whatever that means hey I don't know if uh you've experienced stuff like that just just tell me how you deal with it you know because man <laughs> just feel weird sometimes you know like damn man like pick a side already like you don't know how to be um, but yeah, I'm not giving up on that flight attendant career because that is that is something special, man. I, just being chosen. I want to make a separate video on this, by the way, on this topic. Um, just being chosen to be out there, you know, to be flown out there for an interview for a chance. It was like, wow. And to be honest, I really wasn't going to go. You know, just something to tell me. is like, hey, man, you're going to be wasting your time. They're not going to pick you and all that. But you know what? I went. And I'm glad I did because it woke me up, man. It really did. I mean, with the exception of some days, you know, like I have where I just don't really care, like I was just talking about. It's like, oh, I don't care. Like, oh, yeah, I should be more productive or get this done, but I don't care. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to smoke weed. You know, but hey, not giving up. Man, I can't believe there's actually flight attendants right now on the job or on a layover or something. Maybe that'll be me one day, you know, just making a vlog and I'm a flight attendant. A lot of flight attendant vloggers in here, man, they make it look so cool, bro. Like, damn, man. Like, how could you not want to be that? You know, especially if you're young, single, no kids. Not even just do a girl too. Hell, go for it, man. Like, what is? What do you have to lose? I'm not doing anything else here in Dallas. I don't want to go to school. I'm just working through jobs. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be something to strive for. And I like having something to strive for, you know. Because if you don't have any goals or anything, you're just kind of sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Look what I did. I applied back in April and I got flown to California four months later. <laughs> that was so cool. I wanna talk about a lot of that, but another video. But now, 
I want to talk about why I never really kind of like follow up with my YouTube channel. Not just, not just because of the laziness. There's several reasons. One of them, one of the main ones is like, I don't want to present myself as being fake or as being really pretentious, you know? If, if you know what I mean. Like you see me, a lot of YouTubers on here, right? You know, we all use YouTube. We all have our favorites or whatever. But a lot of them I've noticed for the last few years, it's like they're all the same. It's like they all hopped on a YouTube conveyor belt and it's like, like they're another product, you know, like, you know, in a toy factory. It's like they're just on the assembly, uh, assembly belt or whatever you call it, you know, just keeps going. There's all the same products. Yeah, it's like that. You know, that's how I feel because what I mean by that is they have a lot of charisma, which I get. You know, if you have a platform or you're, if you're on a platform like YouTube and you want to, you know, get an audience, you want to have followers, whatever, people like you and stuff like that. Yeah, you're going to have some kind of personality. You're going to have charisma. You're going to be bubbly or however you want to show yourself, man. However you want to keep your people. Yeah, I get that. That part I get. But it's like what I see is like they don't really show them true self, the true version of themselves. Because they're versatile like me. Like I can adapt um, how to be, how to be uh, uh, the best version of yourself in that particular moment. And I learned that from Red Coach Pill. <laughs> Forgot his name, but he was saying stuff like, he, he had a video, uh, he was just like, being yourself is like the worst thing you could do. I'm like, what? I'm like, this guy's an idiot. But then he started explaining himself. He was like, you wanna be the best version of yourself in that moment. He's like, he was saying stuff like, you don't wanna, you're not the same version you are with your, 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 your mom and like you are the same with your, your, your buddies, right? Your, your drinking buddies, whatever, you're different, right? So that's what he meant. So yeah, um, that was really cool to learn. But yeah, if you're really versatile like me, you, you just you just don't want to show yourself like one version of yourself, you know, because that's how people are always gonna see you as, you know. And the moment you slip up or you say something bad, it's like they use that against you, you know. Like it doesn't matter what it is, how small, you'll be attacked for it. You could be the most like YouTube person, and people are still gonna hate you. I've mentioned this before in um, my videos. It's all coming back to me. All right, back to this damn other topic nah i have to come clean you know so still y'all have an idea of who y'all really talking to or who y'all really seeing on here you know i know the majority of my uh uh subscribers are mctow but if you're not um god damn it did it stop recording okay no just low battery forgot what i was saying <sighs> yeah <laughs> sorry i'd lose my train of thought in here a lot god damn it Ugh. but you know like examples like uh, what i'm trying to talk about is that <laughs> you know how some some youtubers open up they have this intro and they're like hey guys i'm back and then it cuts like to the next their their next dialogue and it's like really quick for two seconds and they it goes over to their friend and their buddy over here and then back to them yeah it's like really it's like too much for me you know like i just i can't i can never picture myself being like that you know <laughs> like damn man like what the fuck <laughs> It's like, oh my god, don't, have a, don't forget to hit that notification bell, don't forget to subscribe, oh, and do not forget my giveaway, and say 20% off, all you have to do is put my coupon code, that coupon code, <laughs> fucking coupon code, whatever how they do that shit, man. I don't want to do that. I just don't. I just not me. Ugh. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Chill out. Chill out. Getting a little too excited. I think I'm just avoiding that topic. Nah, man, I lost a friend. Not in death. But uh, it, was, it was just me, you know. Um, yeah, I had talked about this before and I thought I was going to elaborate more, but I don't know when I'm ever actually going to get to it. But the point is, is like, it, it didn't need to happen and I don't want to play the victim or anything because there is no victim. It was just me not wanting to be a bad friend, you know, even though I was a short version, there's a long version, a medium version, a short version. I guess I'll give you all the short version since it's almost close to 10 minutes. I don't want to, my, my videos to be really long because I know how it is being on YouTube. You see someone that's like, oh, I don't want to watch all that right now. But yeah, I met her, met this friend almost two years ago, just after Thanksgiving. And um, it was on a dating app. And um, damn. I don't know, she was something else, yo, you know? I just, so like we connected on a spiritual level, you know, and other levels too. And uh, I started getting attracted to her, right? And um, she lives in another city. I'm in Dallas and she lives in Houston. 
I think she still lives there. But um, yeah, so I'm trying to make this quick. I know, I, I know, I, I'm, I'm trying not to make it too long. Yeah, she lives in Houston and uh, we have met up a couple times and everything like that. And she liked me too, right? And um, yeah, I, got, I definitely gotta make a second video on this. Point is, is that she met somebody Fucking hate thinking about that shit too. Yeah, she met somebody, and um, yeah, he lived in another state too. And <laughs> you know, just uh, God. No. I'll talk about that some some other time. You know, it's just it's not that I'm gonna get emotional. It's just a lot, and yeah, I just don't want to, you know, put negative energy on this video. But anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I think I said enough. You know, just uh. I have to come clean and I have to make a separate video on that. I don't know when. Tomorrow will be a good day. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. But yeah, if you listen to this whole video, thank you so much, guys. And uh, if you're trying to become a flight attendant, hey, don't give up, man. I, <laughs> I mean, um, the two people I met uh, that I got the numbers from. Oh, I, I was the only dude at the, uh, at the interview, by the way. I think I said it in the last video. Yeah, they told me they, they didn't get the job either, which kind of made me feel a little better. And I was kind of bad to say, but I was like, oh, okay, at least... At least I'm not the only one. At least, you know, they got the bad news too. But hey, we're all in this together. And if you really want to, you know, travel the world and meet new people and make new friends, stuff like that, as a flight attendant, hey, we got to make it happen one way or another. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go home and uh, post this video. We'll, we'll try to post it on the way. But yeah, this, I didn't really, I mean, I did have topics I want to talk about. But man, you really never realize how the time goes when you're just talking, you know, like, damn, it's really been 11 minutes. And I guess that really depends on a person and who you follow. And you can like watch them talk for like hours probably. And I don't think I'm at that level, like nowhere near there, you know. Uh, but I think I have the potential, you know, I, I'm very well spoken and, you know, I like to be silly and all that. And yeah, I just, I just haven't shown a whole lot of it because this whole year didn't really turn out the way I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but it's my fault. I made, I allowed it to happen. So there's no other you know, there's no other person to point the fingers at besides me. All right, I'm gonna shut up now, and um, thanks for watching. Y'all yeah, be careful.